Oh, uh, that last uh, little backflip didn't make it. What's up, guys? Eric, I've got the new Arma 3S, uh, a Big Rock BLX. I'm uh, pretty stoked about this. Uh, I've been wanting this for a while now. I finally uh, bit the bullet. Um, I had the old Big Rock, uh, you know, the one with the blue body, and uh, I, I ended up selling. I had a lot of fun with the truck. Uh, I, just, I just had to make room for some other projects and stuff like that. Uh, but this thing with its wider stance, uh, the you know the complete refresh that Arma did on this truck. I'm not gonna go over everything. I'm sure you guys have already, you know, heard all the uh, updates on it. But it's just a super sweet looking rig. I love the matte black body. Uh, you know, to give it give it the uh, the classic Big Rock look. Um, I didn't do anything to the interior um, on the truck. It's still box stock, except I went to punch uh, five, which is max punch on the ESC, and threw in a 20 tooth pinion. Uh, it was probably over geared on, on the 20 tooth, but it is kind of cool out. So I would see how it does in 18, you know, it would probably be a little bit better. Um, but M2C Racing, again, is going to be making upgrades for this truck. We've got a motor mount uh, coming soon. We'll be testing soon, along with some 17 uh, millimeter hex adapters uh, for guys that want to run, you know, some bigger 2.8 tires and stuff like that. Uh, there is other upgrades we're talking about that's in the works. So we'll just kind of see where it goes from there. But, you know, definitely pretty excited about it. Uh, but I'm just going to give it a quick run. Uh, it's kind of late. I just want to see how she does. All right, let's see what's up. That was a little rough. Oh! Right into that pole. <laughs> I lost traction right there. That's the first little, uh, first little big rock durability test. That's a durability test. All right, guys, I went ahead and threw in an 18 tooth pinion. It was kind of cogging a little bit before on the 20. I had really good speed, uh, but my temps were getting a little bit, you know, a little bit high in the, uh, plus I had a little bit of cogging. So I went ahead and picked one up and uh, threw in it. So let's, let's see what's up. Let's see how she takes a little ramp launch. And that was a shaver. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, that last uh, little backflip didn't make it. And guys, this thing is still running.
guys, that's it. LVC. I can't believe this thing takes what it takes uh, for a little plastic truck. But this has to be one of the best values uh, for your, you know, bang for your buck. I mean, it's an absolute little little beast. I haven't broken anything on it. Chassis, uh, chassis is not cracked. Arms are still good. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely taking a beating. So, uh, huge shout out to Arma, you know, for for their innovation and all their uh, new up, uh, new updates and upgrades and stuff like that out of the box. I mean, it's a huge uh, bang for your buck. The shocks are still good. I don't see any uh, any leaks in them. They definitely made a huge improvement on the shocks. They feel really good. I'm uh, definitely happy with them. Of course, I may go up, uh, you know, upgrade those to some Typhon shocks or uh, something of that nature. But as of now, I'm not going to fix it if it ain't broke. She feels really good. So uh, we'll just we'll just go from there in the future. But anyway, all right, guys, it was a blast. Again, huge shout out to Arma and Horizon Hobby. We'll see you guys next time. RC Dude 81. Peace out.